Good morning, happy Tuesday. It's cold in my neighborhood. <laughs> A little chilly outside, it's about 45 outside, but I'm sure it's going to heat up. We're supposed to have some hot, hot days coming up in here in Southern California. Wishing I could be in the ocean, but not going there. Hey, hey, Shell, what's up? Um, what is your goal today? What are you trying to accomplish today? Is there something on your plate you're struggling with? Let me know. Um, make a comment in, below and I'll get back with you. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna use three different things in our workout. We're gonna get right to it. We're gonna use mini bands. We're gonna use a chair and a stool. So the first thing we're gonna do is single leg deadlifts. Then we're gonna do um, on our calf, a bent over leg kick, back kick. So you'll have the band instead of above your knee or on your ankle, it's gonna be on your calf muscles. And doing that bent leg kick, okay? So then a chair in and out with the shoulder press. And then we're gonna do a bent knee side kick. It's actually below the knee, sorry, below the knee side kick. So the band is again gonna be strapped onto your calf muscle and you're gonna do a side kick. Then we're gonna do a crisscross lateral leg swing over a stool. So the stool is gonna be sitting in front of you, crisscross swing, whoops, went the wrong way, crisscross swing outside, crisscross swing. We're doing abductor work with that one, okay? So grab a stool. If you can't go over a, get over a stool, um, really anything will do, even like laying a water bottle down on the floor just to get that little bit over the top of it, just to start on something. So let's get warmed up, everybody. Let's get warmed up. For this beautiful day, set your intentions for your practice today and what you're going to bring to the table. Of course, everything is pulled in, zipped up, zip that core. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to get right into those toe touches and opening up the shoulders. So, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to go down in between the legs, press back, open up that chest and core down. Breathe in when you come up. Nice. Whew. Keep breathing. Holy cow. You need to get a broom when you see a cobweb up there. <laughs> Some of the things that run through our mind when we're working out, at least mine. Mine goes crazy. Keep going, press. And we got three, two, open that chest up, put that head back. And last one, let's do some squat pulses. So press back through the heels, double pulse and up. Double pulse, press back through the heels, make sure the knees stay in front of the toes and press, press. Keep pressing. It's just our warm up. We're warming up those glutes because we're going to be using them. Get them going today. Got five more. Four, three, two, one. We're going to do some side reaches today to warm up those obliques. So, side reach up, pull the hand back down. Reach to the bottom and to the wall or the sky. Pull the hand back down, flex that bicep, squeeze. Everything's super tight. Five, four, soften those knees, pull that core in. One, and switch sides. Nice, tight body. Relax that shoulder. If you can't do this over the head, you can bring it across the front, okay? So reach, reach, reach. We're up over top. Soft knees, nine, 10, two more. Two, 
two. Okay, let's do a torso twist. Open those palms up, bring them up to arm level. Soften those knees again. And I want you to always be mindful, again, that every muscle is being used. Your inner thighs are firing, so you're pressing with your knees into the center and twist. Keep your chin forward. And some people, you just don't have the thoracic region opened up enough, and that's okay. You're just stiff, and you won't be able to go so far. For those of you with shoulder issues, your arms are down here, and you're twisting. Okay? Always keep them low until you get them strong again, or you're up. But be mindful that the arms are mostly straight, not locked elbows. Body position is key with this stuff. It's better to do the move correctly than to go through and do tons of reps and not do it right. We have secondary muscles doing the work. We're almost there. And so those prime movers. And one. Okay. Here we go. Jumping jacks or step jacks. I think we did um, we did predator jacks yesterday. So let's do some jumping jacks. Two, three, four. And if you can't do a jumping jack, remember what the step jack is. Same move. Everything's tight. Squeeze the glutes, the quads, the hammies, the arms. Make sure the core is engaged. Zip it up. Don't let it go. Your core is your biggest part of your body, your biggest muscle group. It's your entire trunk. Kinetic chain. Keep going, guys. Pull it in. We're doing 30. Really warming it up today. Going to get our burn on. And five, three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Let's warm up those arms, all right? So for those of you that can't get the shoulders up to elbow level, I want your arms down here and doing this move. Press in, press in, nice and slow. You don't have to go all the way in or you're up and pressing in. Press that chest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Squeeze those biceps. Two more. And two. Shake it out. Okay, you guys ready for this? Single leg deadlift. We've got the bands. I'm gonna use a blue band today. Blue band. Let's see if I can get that blue band to work. I might need my yellow one. They're so tight. So one foot. You are going to put this down on the pad of your foot. Soft knees, bent, pressed back. One hand, single leg deadlift. Squeeze and down. Squeeze. Press that butt back. Pull the core in. Don't let that core go. Core is your balance and posture. This is like lifting weights when you don't have weights. Keep pressing. Squeeze that glute. Use it. The other leg is soft. Everything's pulled in. Nice and tight. This is a hip hinge. And five, four, squeeze that butt, three, two, that doesn't mean you lock your knees up, one, and let's switch sides, come around the other way, soft back, foot is facing forward, okay, here we go. Left hand, Whew. squeeze, let me get this in my hand right, squeeze, it will roll on you, <laughs> and press, and press, Whew. squeeze, 
Tap that core, make sure everything's pulled in. And press. How are y'all doing today? Send some love to that glute. Mine is burning, both of them. <sighs> Need to adjust this on my fingers. We're almost there. <sighs> Two and one. Soft, pull that off your foot. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is it's on our calves. So remember when you're putting this on, if you're not stable standing up, sit down on something and pull it up over your calf muscle, nice and soft on the calf. Okay, so we're gonna do bent over kicks. I'm gonna hold the wall, okay? Press back, head is up. You're looking at the wall. You want your head and neck in line. And kick back, okay? Whoops, sliding on me. Nice, bend over, keep looking at that wall, hold at the end, you really want to get a glute squeeze on this, soft knee on the bottom leg, you see I'm not able to kick very high, this band is really tight, brand new bands, keep going flat back, we're gonna switch legs here in just a second. I'm sliding again. Get ready. Two, one, keep that head up. This does not wanna see on my calves. So, again, feet are shoulder width apart, back is flat, pull it in and kick. Make sure you're bringing that foot back to its origin. Keep that chin up. Look at the wall. Pull the core in. Holy cow. We are burning today. Stay bent. Hips are hinged. Nine. Ten, two more. One, two. Okay, my band is not behaving. Okay, we're gonna take a chair out and in. So you can sit in a chair. I'm gonna pull my table over here and show you with my table what we're doing with these. So, pull the table out. And let's see here this over a little bit so that you can see what's happening. This. Okay. So out and ends with the shoulder press. You're going to be sitting on your chair. Okay. These are on your calves. <laughs> out and in out and in. If you have really good balance, we're gonna be doing something else, okay? So out, in, shoulder press. Out, in, shoulder press. Out, in, whew. keep going. If you can't do the shoulder press, you can stay down here and come in, in a chest press, okay? So in, chest press. Out, in, chest press. Keep those feet apart. <sighs> Trick in my mind here. And out in press. Out in press. Whoo! It's kind of like rubbing your belly and tapping your head or vice versa. <sighs> Keep going. Whoops. In press. Out in press. Out in press, out in press, or out in press. Okay, here we go guys, we're gonna come back up. Keep that below the knee, 
pull this off of my mat. Yikes. Let me use it again here. This little thing is heavy. So whenever you're moving anything, staying low in that squat position. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is the below the knee side kick. Hang on to something below the knee with the bands. Get your body lined up and side kick. You don't want to lean into the wall or leaning this way. Straight ahead and side kick. So it's a little bit different when you have it above the knee, on the ankle, below the knee. Each position with the band is going to give you a different type of workout, work on different muscles. So you're just holding that wall there so you're stable. You're not putting a lot of weight on it. Most of the weight's on this leg. Your grounded foot. The only thing that's soft on that foot is your toes. Whoop! Get going. We're going to go five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. My legs are burning, people. Summertime's here. We want sexy legs. Here we go. In, up, up, up. Kick that leg. Nice. My glutes are on fire right now, ladies and gents. On fire. Keep that foot flexed. Nice deep breath. Keep setting that intention. Send some love to the zones that are really burning right now. Get it, get it. And you don't have to put a band on, okay? This is for those of you that have been asking for mini band stuff, okay? You can do this stuff without mini bands. And three, two, one. Okay, take those down off your knees. The next thing we're gonna do is a hop crisscross with that lateral leg swing. So, what does that look like without the bench? Okay, so it's crisscross lateral leg swing. Crisscross lateral leg swing. I'm gonna use the bench. I want to go right above the bench because I want to target a certain area. Let's see if I don't kick it. Here we go, guys. Nice deep breath in, and here we go. Crisscross bench. Crisscross, point that toe. Crisscross ballerina moves. Crisscross. Crisscross. Get it going. Whoops, forgot which leg. Nice hip flexor work. So as glutes, core, keep that core tight. Don't let it go. Press it over the top. Nice deliberate moves. If you can go up higher, woo, go up higher. Staying low. Targeting areas. Whoops, we'll do two of that. <coughs> See, we all get all jacked up. It's okay, just start back at where you were at. Ready? We got five more. Four, three, two, one. Let's do one more, because those are so fun. Okay, y'all, that is your workout today. Get two to four more in, or two to three more in if you can. It's great to have you guys all here. Set your intentions for the day. Write your action plan down. What are you doing from start to finish today to stay solid with your health, fitness, and nutrition? Have a great day, guys.